This video series on how to run a successful payroll operation in your practice was recorded before the tragic death of our host, John Stockdyke, Accounting Web's editor at large for over 20 years. We're running the series now with the blessing of his family. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Stockdyke for Accounting Web. This video is part of a series that we're recording with accountants who use Sage payroll products as part of delivering this service to their clients. And now payroll is quite a complicated process underneath the bonnet and it, it can be sort of tricky to uh, to deliver effectively and profitably of practitioners but what we're doing in this series is talking to experts and practitioners who have made a success of it and hearing how they go about it now here to discuss the technicalities of payroll with me is ian holloway He's a lecturer and payroll consultant and also regular contributor to Accounting Web. Practitioners who want to move into this area, and are they likely to sort of stumble into any traps for the unwary that you might warn them against? Into traps? Well, the biggest trap that I've come across, having worked for a number of bureaus and a number of accountancy practices um, in the past, is the trap of believing that payroll is Pay, payroll is payroll. So this client, for example, they've got a payroll. Well, that payroll, I can do that payroll. And my, this client, well, that payroll is going to be exactly the same. All payrolls for all different employers are, are different. So the trap would be, I suppose, the assumption that uh, payroll is just one, one thing and it's going to take five minutes because it took five minutes with this particular client. Uh, not all clients are the same. Mm -hmm. Could you describe, you know, your your recommended approach to get pricing right? Well, the 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 bureaus that possibly I've worked at in the past, the practices I've possibly worked at in the past, will just say, well, we charge X amount per pay slip, which uh, was fine. It provided a benchmark, and some some customers were re were really happy with that. But what what really needs to happen is every time you take on a payroll in your practice, you need to go and you need to ask questions of that employer. Well, not just what's your tax reference and how many employees, but how are your employees paid? And um, what about uh, uh, compliance with national minimum wage? What about uh, 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 business locations that you have? Are they in England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, all that kind of thing? Get a real feel for the client. And it's only once you get a real feel of how complex or how easy that client is to actually uh, uh, deliver the payroll, it's only once you get a real feel for well, this is the amount of work that's involved that you'll be able to accurately price and we shouldn't be playing down the importance of payroll um, and I think perhaps in payroll we're not really good at selling um, the value of payroll bearing in mind that it's the majority of uh, an employer's cost so you've got the cost of employment the on costs of employment as well and all the different compliances so uh, look at the payroll and whilst you're looking at the payroll uh, uh, say, say to the client, well, it's really important given that complexity that we do this, that we do that, that uh, because if uh, there's a risk of perhaps non-compliance here, non-compliance here, and that will cost you this, that will cost you that. We don't have to big ourselves, we shouldn't big ourselves up, we shouldn't inflate uh, uh, the worth that, uh, that we do in payroll. But we need to sell how, how uh, worthwhile uh, a good payroll professional um, is which can be done in a, an accountancy practice. And finally, what you know, can you take us back to some principles that our viewers should hold cl closely to them to providing a good payroll service? The principle, the main principles, um, payroll is not the same as accounting. And I've said that before, payroll is not the same as accounting. It's not the same as bookkeeping different disciplines, different knowledges, different skills, different behaviours. And I really would go back to the, the uh, uh, be like a sponge, make sure you're educated, make sure you're keeping up to date and the networking, I think. And that's really been important for me over 
definitely the, the last 10 years whilst I've been consulting, have people around you that are specialists. So sit on whatever board uh, comes along, um, uh, uh, contribute to something on, say, LinkedIn, um, because that's where you'll get your information. People will connect with you. And then you'll say, oh, can I just ask you a question? I had a question this morning um, on LinkedIn. I honestly don't mind asking. So the network and communication and education are really, really important, but they're important in general life anyway. Good communication, good education. Great. Ian Holloway, thank you very much for your time and for contributing to our, our video interview series on payroll. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Now, if you'd like to find out more, make sure to watch the other videos in this series and visit accountingweb.co.uk slash Sage Payroll to download the Sage Payroll white paper. Thank you.